guys, today I am going to be playing until I lose, but it's not that simple. Once I use a loadout, I drop it. So, for example, if I use Druid Sub Farm, that loadout is now banned for the rest of the video. And let's see how far we can get. Let's get it, guys. All right, guys, our first game here is against Amber Leader 3269. We're on the map Star here, so I have to be very careful in what strategies I go. Okay, they skip. I'm going to skip Castle. I want to go very obscure strategies here at the very start. That still will work because we need to um, save the good strategies for later. We don't want to waste the good strategies right away in case I face like a top 10 player or something. You know what I mean? So we're going to go Dart Farm Sniper this game. Go Dart Farm Sniper. Go beautiful. And I will add it to the banned loadouts list after the game finishes. All right, here we go. So I haven't gotten the strategy in a long time, so I'm probably going to be pretty rusty. I'll give them a good luck as well. Now, they're probably going Druid Sub Farm here, which is also going to make it very difficult. But we're going to be facing a lot of Druid Sub Farm. So we just got to gotta deal with it, guys. We got to deal with it. Start with my Dark Monkey right here, though. Oh, I just went for the I went for the bottom wrong cross pass. See, that's what I'm talking about. I don't I'm gonna be making a lot of mistakes here. Okay. We got up our spolt now. For for some reason I thought the bottom cross path was the spolt. I don't know. Alright, we're good, we're good. And then we'll get my um Sintai Churchill here next round. The plan. But that'll last for a few shots because he's layering blues over. And looks like they started with their druids, so they're all good there. They actually didn't get their they didn't get their open on round one. Ooh, that could be a mistake. We're gonna send them some green balloons layered over real quick some greens layered over and we'll balloon boost this in a little bit as well we're also gonna go for my um churchill here in a second yeah we forced a boost on their side that's great here's my churchill perfect uh why is the churchill sucking so much hello right the churchill's not really doing anything uh i feel like i probably should have just kept my spold up and got saved up for my churchill i don't know we're sending them some of this because i feel like i need my my spold again here or actually does this defend that actually defends that defense. Okay, fair enough. We're fine. Pretty rough start. Pretty rough start, guys. Not gonna lie. But um, we we just gotta win the game. We gotta win the game. I'm trying out trying out new strategies here. I'm gonna be trying out new strategies for a lot of these games since obviously I can't repeat strategies. But we'll see how far we can take this. We're gonna farm down. Please die. Please die. That's a GG. No way. Did those brambles come in in time? Oh, the brambles came in in time. I thought. He leaked too many lives. It looked like they leaked so much on my side. Okay. Well done. Well done. Get this guy in last. We'll get it up to a, um... Volterooney if he sends me. Also, should, I, should this be on last? I feel like it should be on last, actually. I've seen some people target on last here. And then we can target on first later if we need to. Okay, um... Did I go for the wrong cross path on this board or are you supposed to go for bottom cross path? I feel like you're supposed to go for bottom cross. I don't know. We're, we're kind of struggling here, guys. We're kind of struggling. I'm not going to cap. We're... We're not doing so hot with this strategy. I, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do is the thing. I just never used this strategy in a long time. Should I go for Juggernaut? I feel like maybe I should have went for middle cross path on this. I don't... Mm. We're actually handling Black Balloons pretty well now. Not gonna lie. We're handling decently well now. I think I need to get up a... Oh, I'm dead. GG. Nope, not even close. Not even close, to be honest. Not even close. All right, let's not lose the first game. Let's not lose the first game, guys. We got our bird jug. We got our jug. Enough playing around. Enough playing around. Enough dilly dallying. It's time to focus up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let's get up this other farm. I feel like I've probably made a lot of mistakes already, but oh no, I've definitely made a lot of mistakes. I feel like you're supposed to maybe go for middle cross path here. I don't know. Okay, so against Druid sub on this map, we have to be aggressive because um we died a we died a group ZMGs in round 30 and. We obviously don't want them to be able to send a lot of group zoom around 30, so we'll have to send them quite a bit of rushes here, but yeah. They got their Druid of Wrath, so we'll be fine against Zebras. We have one last farm, now we'll go for a Sniper right around here. On Strong. I definitely should have went for middle cross path on my sport, by the way. I definitely should have went, <laughs> I definitely went for the wrong cross path. I've, I am now realizing that people normally have a red juggernaut down here. Okay. Oh well, oh well. It happens, guys, it happens. Bouncing bullet has been acquired. Nice. And we're gonna send them a rush, obviously. We definitely gotta rush them. Okay, so wait a second, so then their druid doesn't have the attack speed buff. Boot balloon boost. Are they dead? Please die, please die. Dude, what? What is going on with these rushes? I, I swear I keep seeing stuff go by and nothing is. I am getting screwed. I'm honestly getting screwed. Put on first, we're good. Did 
did they boost against it? Wait, they're dead. They're dead. Let's go. We actually won. Okay, cool. Let me add this to the list of banned loadouts. We actually won a game. I'm so hyped. Okay. So hyped. All right, guys. We now have our first banned loadout, which is dart, sniper, and farm. And let's check out my win streak. Should be one here. Just so then um, you guys don't think I'm capping. There's the one win streak. And I'll catch you on the next one. All right, our next game here is against Mr. Swag. We're on the map Inflection. So I've got a different um strategy, which I'm definitely going to use here. It's actually decently good on Inflection. It's not used that often. It's start thing heli farm. You be really aggressive with the strategy and um yeah that's the plan so let's get it all right here we go so starting off here we definitely want to start with my dartling now i'm guessing they're going to go i forgot i think that okay they're going eco actually that's really bad here because i wanted to face druid sub farm eco is like boomer sub ice is a strategy where it's hard to be aggressive towards because they defend everything so easily so um but we have to be aggressive because we die to dts basically with our strategy so we definitely have to be aggressive here it's just a bad matchup we're starting with our ice tower though obviously start, we're starting with our dartling and um yeah that is gonna be how it gets played here now, i think we burn a boost round two just so i can get my dj benjamin down is the plan so we're definitely gonna do that we'll boost here all right let's get my benjamin down beautiful and now we'll upgrade the powerful darts next that's the plan all right we're fine we're fine guys we're fine but yeah, we're not going to be able to really anti-test all the rounds. There's one bad thing here. Because anti-test all the rounds is going to be very important for me in this matchup. Since they have eco and we want to limit their money. Boomer sub-ice is a very good strategy. I think if we if they over-eco though, we can definitely be aggressive on like rounds 13 and stuff. And get by on more glaives pretty easily. So we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully they um over-eco a bit. And then we can like expose of that. You know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying, lads? Let's get up a farm now beautiful they're gonna send me white balloons or green balloons next round so i will have to upgrade my oh i just upgraded the wrong upgrade my farm dude why is long life bananas even a thing why is it a thing ninja kiwi please answer me it's such a useless upgrade oh my gosh i can't be making mistakes guys in these in these play till you lose because i'm using strategies i'm not really using too often as well so i'm already at a disadvantage all right they're sending me green balloons here i will use dj ben ability and um upgrade my dartling there we go. Perfect. We should be fine. Yeah, we're good here. White balloons as well. We'll be fine against that. And some black balloons here. We need to... Do I just save up for banana plantation at this point? I think I do. I think I just straight up save up for banana plantation. Because I've already upgraded the long life bananas. So I'll be getting the, the cross path valuable bananas for only 700 here. So I think it's best for me just to save up here at this point. As weird as that sounds. I think that's the smartest economic decision here. I've got to get it up here in a second, so... Yep, there we go. Perfect. We're good against that. He's going to send me a rerush. I'm probably going to have to boost against it, which is fine. I'm fine burning boosts early game, because, again, we have to be really aggressive, and boosting allows me to greed more. So that is um okay with me to boost that type of stuff. That's okay with me. All right. We have a plantation now, which is great. Plantation's gonna make me some solid money. You love to see that. You love to see that. We'll send them region zebras next round. Hopefully, we can force a um slower eco on their side or just a boost or something. They send me region zebras. I have to go for a third dartling. And they actually got the more. They actually forward the more glaives so easily. What the heck? Dang. They had so much money. All right. Well done, I guess. Not expecting to have that much money on hand. They're sending me region zebras. I honestly should be fine here. Yeah, we're good. All right, we'll get another farm down here in a second. Get that farm up. Beautiful. We can rush that more glaives, by the way. They're going with greens right now, I think. Interesting. We're gonna rush it. We forced a boost. We forced a boost. That's actually really good. I don't know if I can rush through that, though. I really don't know if I can rush through that, even though I have a balloon boost and they don't have boost. I'm going to try, though. Turn it up. No, they defended. Yeah. Dude, I think I'm being aggressive in wrong spots here. They, they already had a ballistic and a more glaives. I don't think I should be rushing that. We'll just farm on. We'll farm on. Huh. We've got to find spots to crack through their defense, though. We can't let them just eco on forever, or else they're going to be able to defend my stuff really easily, you know? 
So it's difficult, it's difficult here. They are down one boost, which is nice, I guess. They are down one boost. We take those. Okay, we defended my Moab. They defended theirs with boost, though. That was boosted. They boosted, by the way. Oh, they're gonna have their boost back by round 18, aren't they? They'll have their boost back, I think. Get up a Moab shove on my side. Uh, I did not need to boost that, by the way. I boosted for no reason. Wait, are they dead? No, they defended, they boosted, though. That's the last boost, that's the last boost. Wait a sec. Got a boost. We all have them here. I think they're dead. Let's go, bro! Yes, sir! Alright, that's 2-0. Oh. I'll add the strategy to the banned strats. Let's go, dude. Come on, we take those. Alright, we're gonna swag once again. We're on the map Koru here, so I'm definitely gonna go stack strategy. I don't wanna, like, burn my druid sub farm um, early, you know what I'm saying? So, the question is, do I go tack farm whiz, or do I go tack farm sub, and save tack farm whiz even later? Stack farm whiz is definitely better, but tack farm sub's not bad. You know? I think we go tack farm sub here. I do. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to open with it as well. Um, don't really know what the best hero is here. Okay, they're actually going tack as well. Wait, what the heck? Okay, definitely thought they'd be going druid sub farm here. Fair enough. Tack versus tack. I'll take it. I'll take a tack v tack matchup here with you, Swaggy, Mr. Swagster, Swaggy McDaddy. All right. Um, let's get a, let's get my uh, Oban down here. There we go. They got Oban as well. They're probably going tack farm whiz. My guess would be. Tack farm was definitely the preferred um, strategy most of the time, but our strategy's not bad. Our strategy's not bad, you know? We both got a round one open, so fair enough there. We'll send them uh, green balloons this round. They're going to do the same at me. Yes. It looks like... Yeah. Big... Does this defend greens? Is the question. Like, can I greed for a farm? I'll get one banana here, which is really nice. I get an extra banana. Oh, actually, I could have waited because the round got stole out. Oh, well. Uh, get the brambles thrown down here soon. And we'll get my blade shooter as well in a second. Now against Tack Farm Wiz, what are rushes we can send? I guess ZMG is the really big um advantage we have with our strategy, because obviously we can first strike ZMGs and they can't. So we'll probably try to leverage that to our advantage. The ZMG send. Probably try to leverage that here for us. By the way, guys, this will be a multiple part series. So um this will be the first part. And I think I'll do probably three games maybe four games per part so just um that's my plan with it that's my plan with it because i think i'll play i'll hopefully win more than three or four games you know what i mean but yeah we'll see we'll see and if you enjoy this new um i new con content type of different type of content i'm play, putting out for you guys and hit the subscribe button hit the like button down below it really makes a big difference for me if you just hit those buttons real quick because it's free and um it can help me out a lot and i'm trying to do youtube as my job here so i'd appreciate it a lot okay they're sending me more white balloons let's get up even faster firing here we're fine. We're fine. Increase production. Great, great, great. Throw in another brambles. Love to see that. We got two farms up now, which is fantastic. They got two as well. Okay. So level round seven now. Uh, we could send yellow balloons and force more defense. However, it's probably not worth because we'd have to send a ton of yellows and we'd probably only force a fireball wizard on their side. So I normally uh, go against sending yellows on Koru because yeah. attack spot's pretty solid. But yeah, that's at least my thought process on yellow balloon send here all right there we go perfect they got there slightly before mine but they've also been sending me slower spaced eco so even though they got a slight farm lead there um i have the eco lead so i mean to whom it i mean who has the advantage we don't really know you know what i'm saying we don't really know uh region zebras could come out this round that'd actually be kind of deadly towards me so i'm gonna send it towards them forced another blade shooter with just a few region zebras oh don't mind if i do ladies and gentlemen that is great that's great you love to see that okay you absolutely love to see it uh, we're gonna go for a submarine here. Perfect. Oh, they have submarine as well. No shot. They have submarine as well. All right. Uh. Wait. They have to malstrom it. They have to malstrom it. Let's go. Okay. That's good. That's good. Awesome. You love to see that. 
Wait, they only have up a um. We forced another Maelstrom. Dude, this is great. All right, we're good. We're good. Loon boost. This is one interesting match, guys. One very interesting match so far. Okay, we're alive. Wait, did they? We'll, sell, we'll send the Mirage again. They're dead. Let's go, bro. Yes, sir. Wow. That was an in intense one. Okay. We'll get one more match for you guys in this video. One more. Can we end the video... Four now here. You guys, if you guys look at the current band loadouts, there's one thing you see in common between all of them, and that is the farm tower. So today, this game, we're actually gonna switch it up and go an eco strategy here, which is still really good. I'm um, going boomer sub glue here on the map, basalt columns, and yeah, it should be a fun one against Mr. Yeepoy. He's probably going druid sub farm, so definitely gonna be a hard matchup for me. Druid sub farm is great on this map, so yeah. We'll be starting with my um boomerang right. Okay, yep, there's a druid as expected. Starting with the boomerang right here. The nice part though is this map does get round stole a ton. So, um, if we can pressure them pretty well, we'll be pretty solid this game. We have to make sure pressure them well. Okay, the game's actually lagging a bit as well. Hopefully this gets fixed. Hopefully the lag gets fixed and it isn't too apparent. That would be nice. Oh my gosh, it's running at like quarter speed, bro. Come on now. Both of us are on three bars as well. I wonder why it's happening. Both on full bars here. I think I'm actually going for an early glue, as weird as it sounds. I want to try stalling these rounds as early as possible here. So I'm going to just get up a very early glue here. Just to get these rounds even longer. It's very important. We get more eco here. They've already gotten their Druid of Wrath. What the heck? It's. I guess they're down to 35 lives somehow. Wow. Normally people go for lightning on this map. Is the interesting part there. Normally people go for lightning and they went for Druid of Wrath. Fair enough. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to send a calculated rush. I'll send some red balloons here. Get up my um Oban. And I'm going to send some pinks on top. Because the Druid of Wrath is going to lose their attack speed. Oh, wait. Never mind. That didn't even work. That didn't even work. Okay. I was trying to make it so then Druid of Wrath stopped attacking for a second so it would lose its attack speed buff and then I could rush through it, but it's fine. All right, equal some green balloons here. We're going to get stronger. Oh, wait. Let's get um, Red Hot Ranks first before I get stronger glue. I don't want to slow down my eco here, obviously. We want to get stronger glue, though, just to stall the rounds even more in a little bit. The one downside is my boomerang is actually ricocheting all the way up here and um, popping a lot of these AI balloons, which I do not like. So obviously, we don't want to pop them. And pretty much all of them are getting popped over and over again. Like, look how slow these balloons are with the stronger glue, dude. It stalls them so much. That's great. Absolutely great for us. That stallage. They'll need to get lightning next round, by the way, for um, yellow balloons that we're going to send. Yep, there's our lightning. Fair enough. All right, the lag has started to die down a little bit. It's still coming and going, unfortunately. But, I mean, there's nothing you can really do about it. It's just so annoying when the game lags, you know? Right, they got their submarines down, so they do have Druid sub farm as expected. You already know, there's gonna be region zebras already. We'll get up a boomerang on last here. That should defend the region zebras. Perfect, a thousand eco so far. So we're actually really good on eco right now. We're doing very solid on eco. Very, very solid on eco. I should be able to get my more glaives next round, by the way, pretty easily. I could sell this boomerang for 800, so I need about 2600 on hand, which we'll have pretty easily. So we'll be solid there. Send them a space rainbow eco. We'll get up my more glaives. The more glaives is so satisfying to see it attack around the bin, by the way, guys. I love that. They're actually sending me a rush. All right. I have to boost this. We're fine. All right, we're gonna send them a rush. Sweet. Forced to boost. We love to see that. Free rush will be able to force a lot then. <laughs> okay, we forced another ballistic through this monstrous slag. We'll see if they send me a Moab. So we have some anti Moab brambles on the map, which obviously help. We'll send them fortified Moab next. Okay, there's the Moab. Gonna be a lot of mobs, okay. Let's get another um, ballistic real quick. We should be fine against these. 
Yeah, we're good against these. Nice defense, nice defense. We'll send them a normal mob to eat up their bramble pile at the bottom, and we'll send them a fortified one. They're sending me three moabs, okay. We should be fine against this. Dude, this lag is unbearable. We'll send them a fortified BFP next round. And we'll send some Zebra Eco behind us as well. Just to distract stuff a little bit. Plus, get me some solid Eco. Because Zebra Eco is not even that bad. We force two armor piercing darts. And they have two ballistics on the map, dude. Three ballistics on the map. They have so much money spent on defense. Holy cow. We force so much here. They're going for a Druid of the Storm in the back. They should be fine. They have so much defense. Yeah, they're fine there. Well done. All right, we'll go back to, we'll go back to Pink Eco here. We got a solid amount of Zebra Ecos, mostly to, just to apply extra pressure as well with that rush. Unfortunately, now that we force a lot of defense, they're actually anti stall in the rounds because they have uh, stuff to pop the AI balloons really fast. So that is a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. I think round 25, we'll send them a ZOMG rush to try to force a Super Storm. A pretty hefty ZOMG rush where they shouldn't be able to first strike it well because also the round 25 ZOMGs will be ramped quite a bit. We'll send a normal ZOMG and then an FZOMG. That's the plan. Oh, they're actually sending me one. I don't think them sending me is smart here, but we'll see. Because I can defend these pretty easily. With my strategy. Are right, we center normal, then FCMG? Keep saving up for a super glue on our side for these. What I'm actually going to do, this is really risky, but we take risks. Um, I'm going to send a normal, another FCMG. So then they can't first strike. Oh, wait. That was a, that was a waste. That was a waste, bro. Because he was just going to get the Super Storm anyways. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. Target my trees towards the back. We're good. We're good. We can, we can get Bloon Solver. We can get Bloon Solver here in a little bit. Against this. Balloon Solver. That solves all my problems. Balloon Solver solves your problems, guys. Against this. That last ZMG was a waste on my side. I just really want to get the Super Storm Forest, and we got that. Now they're making, like, zero money, because they don't have um any farms. Okay, they're sending me DTs. Turbo Charge. We should be fine against these. Yep, we're good. Okay, we just chill because we're up like 3,000 eco on them and they have no farm. So we're just making a ton more money. We just chill now. Chill. All right, let's see if this enemy is the uh, BAD. We can first strike micro. I have tons of money. I have 60,000. We're just going to let them make the first move here. Four of those. Nice. We're sending them two sets of DTs. I think they're dead because they don't have any popless buffs. Oh, they boosted it. They'll be fine. I can send them more DTs though, and they're dead. Well, that should be a GG, ladies and gentlemen. And we went 4-0 and in today's video with four different strategies. And we also didn't use like Dartley Farm and Ninja or Druid Farm and Sub, which put us in a really good spot for next video. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll be for more. Peace, lads.